Hi, this is Matthew Cratter from Trader University. And today we're gonna to talk about what you can expect from Tesla's earnings coming up this Wednesday. I thought I'd open with this picture of uh, a Tesla autopilot veering into uh, traffic, not sensing it, and the driver actually has to take control in order to uh, not crash. If you enjoy Tesla videos and want to continue to follow my takes on Tesla, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you drive a Tesla, be very careful on autopilot. So what we've had with Tesla going into earnings is we've obviously had this big earnings bounce. And a lot of that has been driven by short covering. There's, there, when we hit the, uh, the lows in May, short, the short interest in Tesla got really, really high. And as a result, we've had a lot of sort of weak hands flushed out going into earnings. Now we're at a really key level. Uh, you can see that we're still in an official, in an official downtrend. We've got the 50-day uh, the moving average below the 200-day moving average. Stock trading above the 50-day moving average on this balance. Uh, which is definitely uh, a sign of a sign of some strength, but we certainly haven't had a crossover. And if we if we veer if we uh, scan out, we can really see that we're at a key level here. Uh, there's been a battle going on at the 260 level in Tesla stock. Uh, this red line is roughly the the 260 level, and you can see that it corresponds to lows earlier in uh, in uh, call it April March 2018, where the stock was able to hold and then summer of uh, 2018. Now what happened in 2019 has been very different where we broke below those lows, we spent some time trading down here and then we've snapped back up to this key level. Now what often happens in situations like this is that a support level, what was previously a support level becomes a resistance level. And that's what we're seeing right here. We're right? seeing this struggle around the, around the 260 level going into earnings. And uh, I would expect the earnings to be bad enough or the forward guidance to be bad enough that we bounce off of this level, that this level doesn't hold. Uh, if this level does hold, that is definitely a more bullish sign for Tesla. Uh, and I think the real wild card, unfortunately, we don't have the latest short interest data uh, for, uh, for Tesla stock. As of uh, June 28th, there's still 41 million shares sold short, which is a huge percentage of the float. It's something like... To, um, 30% or so just off the top on top of my head. Now obviously when you get a big move like this um, You can see June 28th was back back around here So we've had another big move up from 220 almost to 260 and I think that is probably taken out a lot of these shorts now Tesla has a history of of uh, earnings misses, especially for the last four quarters. So what we're looking at here is we have the consensus earnings per share forecast. We have the actual earnings per share, the actual EPS. And you can see that in June of last year, so for the second quarter of 2018, the market was expecting a loss of $3.73 a share, actually got a much larger loss of $4.22. The one exception was this, this anomalous quarter, September 2018, third quarter 2018, where the market was expecting a negative uh, EPS, we got a positive EPS. But ever since then, the December, December uh, was an earnings miss based on the consensus. And then of course, March was a very big earnings miss where the market was expecting a loss of $2.51. We actually got a loss of $4.10. So you can see all the earnings surprises are negative with this one exception of uh, Q3 2018. So I'm expecting Tesla to surprise on the, the downside. And what really matters is less the earnings, but what really matters is the forward guidance. Will they be emphasizing that they think they can hit that 400,000 delivery number for the remainder of 2019? If they're mum about that, the market will definitely, definitely get worried about it. Now, I want to show you guys a trick how to figure out what sort of move the market is pricing in for an earnings report. And the way we do this is by looking at an at the money straddle. Now Tesla is currently trading at $256.47. So what you wanna do for this, uh, this indicator is you wanna look at the closest strike price. And uh, I'm gonna use uh, 257.50. And you wanna look at options that are expiring as near as possible. So today's, today's Monday, these are options that are expiring on July 26th, which is this Friday. Uh, Tesla reports earnings after the bill on Wednesday. So these options have very little time value left because they expire in just four or five days. And what they're be basically being pumped up with is implied volatility. They're being pumped up with by the uncertainty of what Tesla is going to report after the bill and what their forward guidance is going to be. So one way to look at this 
is you, uh, you build an at the money straddle. So what we're gonna do for this is we are going to buy, we're gonna pick the strike price of 257.50, and then we're gonna buy an at the money, bear with me, we're gonna buy an at the money call. So we'll buy a 257.50 call, which is what I have right here. And then we're gonna buy an at the money put at that same strike price. So then we can go over here to put, Again, this is gonna be a July 26th put, uh, the 257.50. And so once we add both of these over, over here, we can see we're, we're buying a 257.50 call, 257.50 put, roughly at the money, because the stock's around 256, 256 and a half. This gives you a good indication of what the market is pricing in for a move. So this call this straddle cost 17.95, let's just call that 18. Now we take 18, divided by the price of, you can either use the current price of the stock or the strike price of the straddle. Usually you use the strike price of the straddle, 257, 257.50. And if we do the math on that 18 divided by 257.50, we get roughly uh, 7%. So the market is pricing in a 7% move up or down. If you think that this Tesla is gonna move less than that, you can actually sell this straddle you sell this call, you sell this put, and what will happen is this premium here will collapse over earnings and you'll make money. If you think Tesla is gonna move more than 7% up or down, you can actually buy this straddle. And if it moves more than 7% up or down uh, after earnings or before, essentially before options expiration on uh, this Friday, you will make uh, money if you're long the straddle. So pricing in a 7% move is a pretty, pretty big move. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the move is to the downside and it's much bigger. Uh, than expected. I, I continue to um, to worry about Tesla's uh, pricing strategy. There have been some good articles that came out recently, uh, one on, from Axios last uh, Friday, uh, talking about how Tesla is mirroring Detroit's worst habits in terms of um, having to rely a lot on in pumping incentives, slashing prices, and really signaling to the market that it cares much more about deliveries and trying to prove that there's demand. Uh, but what I keep arguing with the bears about, yes, there may be demand for Tesla, but the real, quiet, the real question is demand at what price? And so I think what you're going to see in, in these earnings is that margins have really suffered. Tesla has had to take a hit to make up for the, uh, the, 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 the uh, shrinking U.S. tax uh, incentives in terms of uh, electric, ve electric vehicles. So I think uh, they're, they're really prioritizing deliveries over profits. We'll see margins shrink. And I think when the market actually sees these numbers, uh, it's going to uh, it's going to sell off, and that this this key level here of the 260 level will be a uh, a level that we won't we won't see again. Um, what Tesla is really doing here is they're destroying the brand because if you buy a Tesla, then five days later they've slashed the prices by six thousand dollars. There there've been a lot of alienated, angry customers, and uh, when you're making an investment as big as a Tesla car, you don't want to. Uh, you don't want to find out that you just overpaid a few a few uh, weeks later, and this really shows that that Tesla is facing. Uh, there's been a lot of news stories and a lot of evidence that Tesla is facing uh, lack of demand in July. That a lot of people who were going to buy a Tesla bottom in the second quarter to still take advantage of that that tax rebate, and that demand is actually slowing. And uh, it makes sense if you have a very hot vehicle that's selling. You don't need to. You don't need to offer incentives and slash prices and do this kind of stuff, which just uh, really cheapens your product. You become like one of the, uh, the Detroit manufacturers. That's my take on Tesla. We'll see what happens after the bill. And I continue to hold the, uh, the January uh, 2020 50 puts. After earnings, I may be rolling into a further out strike price. So stay tuned for that. If you want to continue to get updates, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you've listened this far, I apologize for the sound quality. I'm traveling to my uh, son's Junior Olympics uh, event in uh, water polo in Southern California. So recording this from a very echoey Airbnb. Again, thanks for listening. Really appreciate you guys, my listeners, and I hope to see you in the next video.